There are affordable brands, and there are luxury brands, but there is one brand which stands tall as affordable luxury, Zara. This imposingly beautiful massive fashion major is a part of the e and Techs group, known as the world's largest apparel retailer. While most top brands in the world have savvy owners with celebrity status, Zara's founder Amancio Ortega is a fiercely private individual. Amancio Ortega is the second richest person in Europe, second only to Bernardino O, and the sixth wealthiest person in the world. In 2015, for a brief period, he even beat Bill Gates to become the richest person on earth, for a brief period, when the shares of his company Inditex rose in value. Today, Ortega is in a position where he can afford almost anything money can buy. But then, there was also a time when Ortega's family was deplorably impoverished. Amancio Ortega was born on September 28, 1936 in Bustongo de Arbas, León, Spain. He was the youngest of four kids in the family. While his father worked as a railroad worker, Ortega's mother worked as a maid at people's homes. The family lived a hand-to-mouth existence. He would always accompany his mother, when she would go to the market. Once he saw his mother pleading to the shopkeeper to give some groceries on credit, promising that she would pay him back, at the end of the month. The shopkeeper not only behaved rudely with her, but also turned her away. The young boy decided then, once and for all, his family would never be poor. He dropped out of school at 14, looking for work. Young Ortega found working in a small shirt-making company called Gala. He looked at his job as an opportunity to learn about the business. He focused on how clothes were designed, how they were priced and what customer requirements were. Ortega's job was to deliver clothes on cycle. During one such ride, he decided to start his own clothes-making company with focus on latest styles and customer satisfaction. In 1963, Ortega set up a makeshift office in a basement workshop and called it Goa, his name initials in reverse. He enlisted support from his wife Rosalia Mera and a few family members, as they hired women to sew and stitch clothes for him. The business was set up as a cooperative, people who worked for Goa, had a joint share in profits. The move was quite advantageous, to plenty of women who were looking for an alternative source of income. The company churned out stylish gowns, housecoats, lingerie and baby wear. In 1972, Ortega registered his company as Confeccions Goa, specializing in high-quality bathrobes. He used the profits from his business into opening the first Zara store in downtown A Coruña, in Galicia. The idea was to sell mock-up version of high-end clothing brands at low prices. The first store met with a resounding success. Ortega believed brand presence becomes omnipresent if the store has a regal presence in strategic locations. With this in mind, he looked out for low-cost areas in which he could set up king-sized stores for Zara. By the 90s, Zara with 100 shops in Spain, stepped out of the country and began expanding in Europe. Now, there are close to 2,275 stores in more than 88 countries. Ortega registered D&D Group in 1985, including Zara in it and acquiring several retail brands in its fold Likum Bershka, Oisho, Massimo Dutti, Pool and Bear, Uturk, Stradivarius, and Zara Home, all catering to diverse tastes and fashion styles, in around 7,087 locations. Zara of course, is the biggest success story. Zara is endorsed by the biggest celebrity names, it is a brand that stands for improved lifestyle. If McDonald's is to fast food, Zara is to fast fashion. Zara is known to be quite a disruptive brand, it does away with intermediaries and advertising. Yet, it is never short of demand. It supplies new trend-setting wear, every two weeks. The company is largely perceptive to customer feedback and designs clothes accordingly. It is a brand that moves cutting-edge fashion wear from the catwalk to the retail store in 14 days. It ships three times as many designs as its competitor. Zara invests generously in huge storefronts in malls and high street shopping centers, ensuring that it is an eye-puller when you go shopping. Though Zara is an unmissable brand, you may easily miss Amancio Ortega. He is so low profile that if it was not for internet, people around the world wouldn't know how he looked. There were no pictures of him published until 1999. For a person who is the second richest person in Europe, it is a mystery as to how he manages to lie fairly low. One of the reasons is Ortega is an unassuming person who likes to live a simple life. He is known to be extremely humble and cheerful and likes to bond with his employees at the company headquarters.
He still frequents a little coffee shop in La Coruña for a cup of coffee, before heading to work, a practice that he has followed since he was young. Ortega retired from Inditex in 2011 and handed over the chairman and CEO mantle to Pablo Isla. Amancio Ortega owes it to his first wife Rosalia Mera for being a steady source of support, while he co-founded Zara. The couple separated in 1986, but they have two children, Sandra Ortega Mera and Marcos Ortega Mera. Rosalia Mera died following a stroke in 2013. At that time, she was the richest woman in Spain and the world's richest self-made woman. Amancio married a co-worker in his office, Flora Perez. They have a daughter called Marta, who is in her thirties. It is believed by some people that she may take over the reins of Inditex. The reclusive billionaire with a net worth of $60 billion stepped down as the chairman of Inditex in 2011. He earns more than $400 million every year in dividends, which he invests in buying real estate, across places like London New York, Madrid, Chicago, Barcelona, and Miami. His real estate portfolio itself is worth an estimated $8 billion. He also runs the Amancio Ortega Foundation, where he is known to donate millions of euros for poverty alleviation. Amancio Ortega has always believed in being active in mind and in spirit. He is quoted to have said, complacency is the worst. I never allow myself to be content with what I have done, and I have always tried to instill this in everyone around me. Did you find this video helpful? If yes, please hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and press the bell icon for new videos.